Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Groove Kingdom Fit, which is a game that is only available on Oculus. It's made up of mini games. When you first log into the game, you'll see lots of orbs in front of you. And they are mini games which you can pick up. You actually pick them up and it will tell you what they are. There also are other orbs to the left of you, which are difficulty ratings. And you pick up the difficulty rating, you merge them together, and bizarrely, put them on your head. And that's how you start the game. Each mini game is designed to work a different part of your body. Right now I only have four different mini games unlocked, but there's lots of orbs with question marks. And I don't know how you unlock them. If you put them on your head, you get taken into something and you get stuck there. I don't know what they are. Does anybody know what they are? The three games that I've started with are tennis, which is a workout. It's a lot of fun. I can imagine that you would pull something if you have cold muscle, so I advise you to warm up. There's also a pizza delivery mini game, which is a bit weird. It takes place in a city where you're getting shot at to deliver a pizza. So you carry the pizza over your head, which hurts your arms after a while, and then you dodge from side to side. So it stretches your obliques, it stretches those side muscles and you hold them for different periods of time, depending on the type of bullet coming at you. I will say the next day, I really ached on my sides from doing it. So it clearly worked something. The third mini game is boxing. Now, now this one's weird. So you're in a forest and you've got frogs on your hands. Why frogs? And you're punching bunnies. Since when were bunnies and frogs mortal enemies? Do I need to go down and speak to my rabbit and find out what's exactly going on? Do you often see rabbits and frogs facing off and squaring up to each other in nature? Somebody tell me what this is about. I don't understand. The last game, which name escapes me right now, is a combination of the boxing and the pizza delivery on a train track. <laughs> so it's faster. It does get your heart rate up on that one. Um, and it's a little bit more frantic. So, you know, things that the game's got going for it is fun. There's fun music. It's free. It also tracks the days that you've logged in and tries to do an automated calculation of the calories you've burned um, which is quite nice you see like a little it's almost like a little sticker board of what you've done and what you haven't done but you know that's cool to keep you motivated you can do that they've got all the different difficulties but there's also an endless mode while i haven't tried it myself i think that will help with those interruptions that you may find from going in and out of mini games because we've said in the past on many of our videos that's what slows your heart rate down. It does give you that rest if you're looking at more hip based workouts. However, if you just want to keep going for that full 30 minutes and do a constant and stay in that aerobic state, then endless mode might be for you. So yeah, the downside is it's Oculus only. The sound effects can get really, really annoying in game and there's no option for you to turn them off. Also, you get emails in game. And that is just to tell you about updates or anything that new that's happened in the game. But my God, the beeping, it makes you want to kill somebody. And if you don't know what it is, you just stood there wanting to know why it's beeping and why it's not stopping. Overall, it's free. It's fun. It's a little bit different. If you wanted something to break up your workouts, you might as well give it a try if you've got an Oculus. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.